As a public school with 89% economically disadvantaged students, our families were in need of more than just an education. Our students came to school with primary needs that were possibly unmet and then their academic needs were harder to meet because of that. So we're nestled in that TCU neighborhood, but none of the students that live there went to our school um, because they had lost faith, the performance of the school wasn't what it should be, and it, it was just a difficult time. So when I came, that's kind of how we were. Uh, we didn't have any of the students that lived in the actual Westcliff neighborhood attending like none that I know of. So at first, when the church started providing backpacks and uniforms and supplies for our kids, it was like a handout. Again, reinforcing those values of responsibility uh, to our families while giving them support that they needed. We had 130 students that participated in Good News Club in a semester, and every Monday, uh, the bright orange shirts uh, from Doxology would come and sponsor the Good News Club, and it just filled our halls with joy. The students would just be so excited to come in every Monday to Good News Club and learn about the gospel of Jesus Christ right there in our public school. And it, it began to turn the hearts of the students. Out of that, they learned character and principles of life and behavior and love and compassion that they saw from the volunteers that were there to, to bless them but that really began to turn the discipline and the behaviors of our students. It really honestly was the partnership with the church and the churches that sort of was like a revival of confidence that our community began to rebuild in our school. Over the course of a few years, people began to know us and people began to share the good things about Westcliff. And I really believe that that is one of the most important factors that turned the community's heart back to Westcliff.